Take off perception, take off the cop with the hot pad Take off the unload, take off the unsure, take off the solutions I like Take off the fake deal What's going on you guys? We are back with another video. This is your boy Kaiser of the Dawn and I'm bringing you guys a collector's vid. It will be on my collector's playlist. Head to my channel, check out my different type of content. I have my content separated from different playlists for my different audiences. So today let's just go ahead and jump into this review. This is none other than Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black from the Super Dragon Ball Heroes promotional anime. His uh, name or what he goes by in the show is the Crimson Mask Saiyan. Now for these boxes in the background, this is what you will receive the figure in. This is the uh, Beast Deity setup from which is the new name of, uh, from what used to be Kong Studios. They had to switch their name to Beast Deities to avoid copyright issues. Um, as far as like selling Dragon Ball content and whatnot. So when you order uh, these figures from 5K Toys, which is the middleman, uh, they sell and advertise these third party manufacturers products. So for the copyright issue, you will receive a animal like head. It basically covers up the fact that you're getting this Dragon Ball figure, but don't worry, these different boxes back here, you will get hands and uh, your different face plates and whatnot. You have the main original face plate. You have the upset face plate. And then you have the uh, face plate looking down. And then on the main face plate for the figure right now, you see the enraged power up face right there, which if you watch the anime, after he powers up his mask kind of like explodes. So that's the whole deal with that. We're just gonna hit the articulation and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts and a uh, comparison towards the end. So let's hop right into it. First, you're gonna have the neck and head on a double ball joint, kind of the same as the Super Saiyan 3 Vegito and Super Saiyan 3 Goku that recently uh, released uh, sometime near like the end of summer, beginning of fall. Then you're gonna have this ab crunch, right here, right below the soft uh, material for the gi. It really reminds me of the Beast Gohan gi from uh, SH Figure Arts. But you also have the bicep swivel right there. Then you have the elbow joint right there. Then the hands twist real easily. You will need hot water for these hands. I needed hot, hot water for just one of them. This one came off with ease, but this one is like, yeah, I kind of don't even want to mess with it now. <laughs> but um, for the legs, you have this 3.0 body sculpt. Now, with these legs, 3.0 means it's basically like a advanced leg system to where you can get them in intricate poses and have them looking, you know, dynamic and whatnot. And uh, not just giving them the bland, plain poses. You got the knee joints. They bend pretty easily. You will have that sculpting mold right there, so they only bend back that much. Then you have the ankle pivots right here, allow you to get them in different poses as well. All around view, he is an amazing figure. Then I'm gonna give you guys a quick comparison to him beside the SH Figure Arts Goku Black. Now, as we look at them both, you can tell the uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes variant is a bit taller, but that's mainly because of the leg system and, and whatnot. When you're posing them, you're not gonna see the huge height difference between him and your Goku figures and whatnot. So it's not really a huge deal. Um, I like the fact that he's taller. It just shows that he's really, you know, the more prominent figure that you would really want to have instead of the SH uh, figure arts. 
Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, you can tell the differences with their hair. This is more of a matted rosé. This is <laughs> this is a more matted rosé color on the uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes hair. This is a more metallic, um, kind of like reflective pink right here with the SH figure art. So that is the main difference with the hair pieces. Um, and you cannot place the uh, SH figure arts head, uh, head sculpts on the uh, beast deity figures. That's, you know, the neck pegs are built different. So if you want to do that, you have to get different neck pegs to uh, basically switch the heads out and whatnot. You also have this uh, Super Saiyan Rose front hair piece. Forgot to mention this earlier. This is the Super Saiyan 2 hair piece that I have on him right now. But he does come with basically Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2 hair transformation for the front. So that's one thing I do love about this figure. But let's hop into the final thoughts, opinions, details, gripes, and what have we. So for my final thoughts, should you pick up this figure? Uh, being that it's still on the website, uh, in the available section, yes, I feel like you should pick up this figure. If you're into uh, anime, if you're into Dragon Ball and whatnot, this is the perfect figure to put up on your shelf, put on your desk for a little posing. It's a very unique um, character. The fact that they were able to get everything spot on with the design pretty much is just amazing all around. But um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for my future in-depth reviews. And uh, thank you guys for joining me here today. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.